Such a beautiful motherfucking night. What's up with it? It's the Fat Mac with no strings attached, baby. What's up with you, my nigga? How you been doing, bro? Doing good. It's been a good year. It's been a good year. Definitely. You know I've been seeing you out there moving around, doing doing what you're supposed to do. Making it happen, man. Um, you like an entity now, like a real motherfucking factor. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. counting shit. Like yeah, that. on all the real. A lot of shows and shit. Hey, okay, let me let me let me get into these motherfucking um Let me get into these motherfucking um sponsors and shit. You know how we get down. We always come with the bomb agenda for you. We always come with our sponsors, niggas in the news, reader listener, emails and what's not. So uh our first sponsor is Yard Kings Baseball. Apparel, Yard Kings Baseball Apparel. Go to yardkings.biz. Go through there. That's my people's. They got the baseball influence inspired uh, streetwear. That shit is pretty cool. I fuck with them. It looks great. And um, my niggas, my niggas is over that. They good people's. Uh, Man, fuck with Yard Kings, man. Go through there. The link is in the motherfucking description, man. The link is in the description. Go through there and fuck with them. And follow them on Instagram, too, man. They cool, man. Um, Our second sponsor. Trojan Ultra Thin Bear Skin Condoms, man. Y'all niggas already know my position, man. I stand firm. Y'all niggas need to be using these motherfucking hats. Y'all motherfuckers is some motherfucking sex addict motherfuckers out there fucking every bitch. You saw raw. Y'all niggas need to fall back and take a step back. Look at the situation. It ain't that serious. Use a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Pull over at the 7-Eleven Get a pack of three Listen to me, you understand me I know like, man I know how y'all niggas is, man 
Y'all niggas is on that Y'all niggas is on that Percocet Cialis formula Out there Every day Y'all niggas need to slow your roll Use the hat Look way around where you at nigga Remember that billboard that's over there on um, On Martin Luther King Boulevard right there the incurable gonorrhea, you understand me? The pissing cottage cheese and fire with no cure, nigga. Oh, that's out. Niggas ain't, <laughs> niggas ain't niggas don't even care. They don't. That's out though. <laughs> and you know what? A nigga, a nigga will have that and still fuck a bitch raw like a dirty foul ass motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Foul ass niggas. All right. <clears throat> Our final sponsor is Ball Smack Streetwear. Go through Ball Smack Streetwear and pick up some shit like what I'm rocking right now. A nice bitch relaxed t-shirt. Walk in a room with no talking. Make your presence felt. Feel good. Make people understand what you're thinking without saying no words. There's other different kind of shirts too to say different things. Then also I have some PG shirts for those of you who don't have... The abilities to rock these type of shirts Because your bitch might say Nigga if you wear that shirt around me You by yourself now nigga <laughs> And I know that that be happening to niggas So keep your head up man And fuck with the ball smack top soil Oh yes In here with the fat motherfucking meat He was on the show before Been putting in work ever since I seen him I see other motherfuckers I don't know singing songs and shit. And niggas saluting a nigga. Heard some niggas talking about a nigga. And, and you know when you hear some other niggas talking about a nigga, you be like, damn, they talking about the homie. Mm -hmm. they talking. That's how it always is. <laughs> He tell you, I feel you, my nigga. I feel you, bro. So, that show I seen you at Sevilla, I was going to pull up and be like, let me uh, bring you up on stage because, you know, you my peoples and I like doing shit like that because I feel like ain't them motherfuckers don't, they don't, they don't feel about you like I feel about you. Yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna bring it up out the crowd to make sure they respect a nigga appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm talking? So, like, how was that show for you? How was that particular? That show was lit. That show was lit. It was a good environment, cool people. Good environment, cool people. It wasn't. It wasn't wild. It wasn't overly crazy, but it was dope though. It was cool. Well, that shit was cool. Now, who you was in there with? Uh, I came with my boy, my whole I came with my whole little team, but then we was with uh, Savvy Third, and um, it was somebody else, Mo Guap and some other niggas. It was some other people. It was some okay. other performers and shit. How was it for Savvy Third? Did it go up for Savvy Third? It yeah, it was his birthday. Right. So the shit was nuts. Like it wasn't just him. It was everybody from his hood was at that I motherfucker. Know, like the whole hood. The man. whole hood was at that motherfucker. He even had family members and all that. It was lit though. Like he went up for sure, for sure. Man. Yeah, cool little venue. It looked nice, all the shit. Okay, so I see you've been doing a lot of shows and shit. Like, what? Where you been? What was? What's, what's your latest one you've been doing? What's the latest? Show? Uh, the latest show I just did a show. It was in uh, was that Santa Ana? Yeah, Santa Ana was like an original mics. Okay. So that was with uh, One Take J. One Take J. Uh huh. Okay, now how was that? That was cool. That shit was cool too. It was cool. That that shit. It surprised me. That shit is a restaurant. Okay. So it got tables. You can really order food, all the yeah, shit. But then yeah. it got a stage. I, yeah, I that's yeah. the first time I ever really did that kind of shit. Yeah, that's how it is when you out there doing your thing, mm -hmm. man. Nigga. Shit, nigga. I seen Wu Tang Clan at Acapulco's around the corner from here, nigga. At the fucking nigga. what? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's all the niggas, method man, all the nigga, old dirty bastard. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta, do that kind of shit. Yeah. You gotta get. I've seen Fat Joe like that the first time at some shit like that at a at a taco spot in downtown uh, L.A. or some shit. Yeah, see, them venues be looking for talent all the time. I gotta fuck with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. uh 
when you get these bookings, man, is the motherfucker summoning you or is you hustling for them? Or what is what's the Lately, people been hitting us up. We ain't really been hitting nobody up. Nah, I ain't really hitting nobody so up. motherfuckers reaching out, huh? Yeah. So you got management right now? What's popping? Yeah, my girl, she does all my management shit. What? Oh, you got real man. You got pit bull management. Oh man. yeah, that's a uh, man. You know what? You know how most ni- you know how niggas fuck up. Mm-hmm. Man, you got a good. You got a good. I like your. That's a good protection system. Oh you, yeah, because you uh you eliminating multiple problems. Yeah, I like that. Because a lot of niggas put their homie in there who ain't qualified. At or, all. Or might be low-key hating. At all, yeah. Tr- fronting, like, management. I feel you, man. Yeah. So, yeah, she be going on. If them, them promoters, they hate her. Because she gonna, everything we expect got to be done. Oh. She ain't going for none of that weird oh, shit. Oh, that's cool, yeah. my nigga. None of that weird. Hey, promoters is weird as fuck. I'm telling you now. Okay, I feel you, bro. <laughs> I've, how far you went? What's the farthest you went so far? As far as the uh, traveling, traveling. Yeah. Oh, the only farthest is was shit. Was severe. That shit like Riverside. That's about it. I ain't been okay. nothing like super super far yet. Who the biggest you open for? Um, shit, Blueface and One Take. Blueface. Yeah. What you think about Blueface? <sighs> he does good. I mean, shit. His new, his recent, recent shit. I actually like his recent track that he put out. Yeah. But when he first, his first little, his little ratchet music when it first came out, I didn't think it was gonna have much longevity to it. But right. with the most recent shit he did, I'm like, shit. If he keep coming with that, that's longevity. So he, I've seen a change in the material he's put out because right. the first shit, the little Tatiana and all that. I don't think that would it's it's dope, but I don't think it's gonna last forever. You understand what I'm saying? But right. the new shit he just did is pretty dope though. So, so he cool. Now, young nigga. I. I I don't know if I'm tripping, but do he sound like Frosty the Pimp? Yeah, a little bit. So they all kind of like the same type of... Semi, yeah, they semi got a little bit of the same vibe. But if I'm not mistaken, it's not far from the same area where they associate they with the yeah they all associate kind of with like the midtown slash jungle area a right, little bit of inglewood right. so they all kind of talk alike you feel me right 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 i was wondering if it was like some la type of shit definitely la shit yeah that's what it is yeah. for sure for sure um all right so okay let me do like some niggas in the news type of shit not niggas in the motherfucking news Niggas in the motherfucking news and um now I I kind of got to keep it with the I cuz I didn't already spoke on this shit really but I got I got I got to kind of get some feedback from you man um the offset cardi offset cardi B shit um The uh, tricking off on um, tricking off on some worthless bitches, taking the risk with the uh, Cuban and the other bitch uh, uh-huh. going up on stage begging. What, what do you think about all that? I mean, <sighs> he got a kid with her, right? Yeah, baby See, mama, man. That's yeah. all I'm saying. So. The, the the player shit is kind of out the window already when it comes to like some all right I ain't gonna do the bag thing and all that right, if you had right. a baby the player shit is kind of out the window okay so it's a level of you feel me like of of you know he gotta he gotta earn her back a little bit yeah. from the stupid shit and then on top of that if she was embarrassed publicly he gotta ask for her back publicly you understand what I'm saying right because right. you can't you can't be all right we're gonna be behind closed doors eat this lobster and I'm gonna be like oh I'm sorry. No, nigga, she was embarrassed in public. You got to, you feel me? You got to right. tap back in in public. So right. I agree with it, semi, because of the baby thing. Now, if it was just his girl, hell no, nah, that's a whole nother ball game. Like, but the baby, it's like, nigga, that's like a family. So right. it's like, uh, I, I don't knock him for trying to come back. As long as he did it the right way, though, yeah, fuck it. Like, I feel you. I feel you. It got to be in public, though, because if she was embarrassed in public, you got to do it in public. Okay, would you have went for that right there, that play right there as a nigga like, you know, okay, you got bitches on you. What kind of play? Oh, you I mean see, I see how you see right now you 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 
you protect yourself automatically from shit like that right now. See that that by putting her as your manager. Exactly. You know like though, that you know, you got a bad bitch right here. Mm-hmm. Bitch is pressing the line. I said I know your girl right here, man. But, but still. at the same time, these bitches, man, these bitches don't be having shit going on though. Like. If you got time to see me in the club and really press my line, bitch, but what nah, is you nah, doing? they pressing you on social media. You know, they ain't That's DMs, regular. They, pre- they in everybody DMs. Everybody DMs who look like they doing some shit, they on everybody DMs, so I'm cool. But see, you know what my thing is? I try to get niggas to understand about Cardi B, what niggas don't really understand is she, she a hell of a bitch. Like, she that funny bitch. I mean, you know, she really that bitch, right? She's Girl. that bitch. But at the end of the day, it's like some regular pussy. Her pussy is regular. Like, when you fuck, it's regular. Yeah. And so you just with a regular bitch, right? Yeah. But she got super power. She the number one bitch in the world. Definitely. But, but so now, you used to could regularly engage in freak shit all the time. You know, two, three white bitches want to do a menage on you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, kind yeah. Of shit. And then he down. Yeah. Now you can't really go do that shit because, I mean, you could go do it, but you know they're going to snitch on you. Definitely. You feel me? So. I don't know. I, b- I believe that shit reveal your suckerism, like your true your true nature. Like you really like a freak nigga, like, like you really. You really, you really have no discipline over those that type of shit. You yeah. really that type of freak way out, nigga. Even but he went you, backwards. You think about it like this, though. You, he, he, he probably he got all the little money and fame, shit, kind of young, and then, nigga, you got all these hoes. Then you went to the whole monogamous one person shit. You feel me? Well, no, nah, that was out of that was uh You had he had to do that. Yeah. See, you don't understand the game. See, he had already was fucking with the bitch and got caught. Oh. Fucking around. This this is like you know he got caught fucking with other bitches before, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So marrying was a drastic measure. Definitely, you feel me? So it's like, I, look, I'm willing to lock it down. I'm willing to marry a bitch. Like so, to me, that was the, that was already a desperate measure. Right? Yeah. So you lay out one desperate measure, but you still that nigga like this. You still a motherfucker that's, you know, addicted to wild bitches and fucking and all the, yeah. all the wild shit. You really and that's what shake. I mean by backwards, too. It's like, it's hard to shake because he started with all the hoes. Now you're going to one. So you went from five to one to ten to one, a thousand right, right. to one. So that backwards shit might be hard for that nigga, man. Every nigga's it, different. It ain't really, <laughs> it ain't really like, it, I can't even really... It ain't really going backwards. It's really like yeah. uh, on the player scale. It's going backwards, though. Think about what I'm saying. Nah, because yeah. see, you wife, you you. Okay, yeah, of course. I mean, you you not you. It's not even going backwards. It's like you're not that anymore. anymore but people like, have a hard time so doing that. It's not going backwards. Yeah, it's, it's not like, going. I used I the wrong. Stopped. I used the wrong terminology. <laughs> not backwards. It's but like, it's, a, it's a complete transformation. Okay, but now, so. But see, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Um, I don't know, like. Niggas be, I, I guess niggas be never was pimping. Because really. That's. That's really like the essence of pimping. It's like you got your main bitch, you know what I'm saying, and the other bitches are contributing, like to your whole program this, that's coming in. But really, you're not supposed to touch it. True. Now, see if you. If you apply that, then you just continuously win. So it's not like, you feel me? Yeah. So to me, it's a sucker move to sign up for a menage with worthless bitches. True. That's a sucker move. Like, that's like, freak shit is more important. Like, more like, which, you know, that's that's some other shit. 
Yeah. You know, man. I think I think motherfuckers be like. Anyway, yeah, nigga. Uh, uh, offset and um, this bitch. Okay, now. <laughs> Um, what do you think about I I know this is like kind of like some I don't know if you even relate to this shit man but you fuck with Dame Dash yeah I've heard of a lot of shit he's done I done watched a few shows with him on it <clears throat> yeah he's a, he's a, 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 a mogul he always talking shit to oh, yo, do you okay so Basically, you was you was little when he was popping. Definitely. Okay, so you hear him beefing with Funk Flex. I didn't know about that. Yeah, about that. What? Well, you know, Funk <laughs> Flex basically came out and said, "Man, we're talking a whole lot of shit about the white boy Larry Cohen, okay. who like run YouTube now." Okay. He said, "You talk a whole lot of shit about him, but you really ain't shit. You feel me? You really haven't done shit. Ooh. You really like." Don't even really count, like you feel me. And then Dame Dash start talking shit about you know money talking and whoop de whoop. But I just thought I was just wondering if you knew anything about that. No, I didn't know nothing about that. But I, I've noticed that fucking uh, uh, Funk Flex are always in some shit. Yeah, I like how he get involved. Yeah, he man. always get involved in some shit. <laughs> okay, like okay, let me ask you this, man. So really. One 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 reason why I really wanted to have you here, man, is I know you got like your eye on the LA landscape right now, uh, musically and what's popping and what's moving around and what's not. Mm-hmm. And I gotta ask you, what do you see? What's 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 the what's the what's the most popping movement right now? Because the last time we was here. Greedo was rising. Definitely. So we seen the rise and fall of Greedo. So do you still feel the Greedo energy out there? It's crazy because it's crazy because I was just talking about the about that to the homie. He was like, "Nigga, everybody was banging Greedo heavy as soon as he went to jail." It's it was faded. like they just stopped. What the it was fuck? just like How he didn't even do, exist anymore. How do you do a light switch like that? What the fuck? L. A. So right. it's like we LA know is, you're in prison. So so fuck it. L. A. is bullshit, <laughs> and it's crazy because hey, O. Three set it up right though because right, right, he still right, had projects right. dropping afterwards. He knew that, but he had like, shit backed up, and they still but it's on like bullshit. When the new music come out, they don't even care. Fuck it. That's L. A. Period. Fuck it every time. So it's like when you drop something new, it's like it's dope. You gonna have them people that cling on that some deep fans, but after that, it's like fuck it. What's next? So the attention span of LA people is fast, bro. <laughs> okay, what's up with uh, Draco and all them motherfuckers? Jail. That nigga still in niggas jail. Is in jail. Yep, still in jail. And um, as far as niggas is not finna get out either. I don't know. What, I, is, what was niggas in there for? I heard he in there for some like a conspiracy or some shit. It was conspiracy to commit murder or some shit. I think, but I don't know. I think. Wow. So that's like niggas telling. But yeah. niggas see like it, like let's say you seen a text like oh I plan on doing this or whatever whatever and it's like nigga if they see and you and you're actually capable of committing those things that's a right. crime. Now if you a motherfucker saying that same shit and you just like you feel me you bedridden to some weird shit like you know you can't right. really do it they ain't gonna take that shit serious right. but if they know you're able body and financially able to make some of these shits happen yeah they take that shit serious so I think that's what it was. What, what? But I think he gonna beat that shit, bro. Cause it's like the idea. Of, Cause it's hard to prove conspiracy unless you call me damn near about to do the but shit. They got a nigga sitting down a long ass time. He been sitting because there. anything that has to do with something like that, they the statute of limitation as far as time and how long they can keep you in, long as fuck. Like my cousin fights some shit like that. And it's see, like they know he's a rapper long. too, so they want to kind of make him just punish him. Yeah, like, like they know. Him. Hell yeah, they know. Okay, so. uh Blueface is really the L.A. motherfucker right now. Mm-hmm. That's what's popping. Blueface, Roddy Rich. Is he? He from Compton, right? Yeah, well, he's, he's from uh, Park Village. Yeah, I've been no, I've been feeling his energy too, man. Yeah. So he popping too heavy. Yeah. Park Village, Roddy Rich, Blueface. Yeah. So One take Park, two. So Park Village popping now. Huh? 
Definitely. It's a little female over there that's popping too. Yeah, a little female, she popping too, right? What is your name, Vana? Not Vana. I, some I, other. I thought shit. it was like with an A or something. And, I yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I right. It remember. is. I know you're talking about though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She sing. Yeah, yeah. She got that melodic shit going on. It's crazy. I was just telling somebody we got to do some shit. It's got Park Village popping. Yeah, that's a trip. Man. Definitely, every, every part of I think every part of Compton got a potential to pop if it, if the right nigga represent commodity mm-hmm. and shit. You know what I'm saying? So some of these other hoods, y'all need to get it together, man. Stop the hating. Hey, man. <laughs> you know I I I think I think uh, it's impossible to hate really as long as you get do your music and come and and be heard. You, uh. Niggas can't stop it, man. Cause you know. All right. So, as far as bitches, what bitches do you hear out there that's like doing something that you that you think is popping musically? Like, <sighs> and you mean as far as LA or just period? That's the question. Okay, I'm gonna start from LA. It ain't shit. Nothing. <laughs> nah, I mean, ain't no. It's no, not many no people I could be count. like, nah, like that's putting out tra- actual work. That's actually, you know, what I mean, doing numbers. It's not many I can name. Like, all right, she hard. Like, I know people that's hard, but right. as far as they like, don't have no pop catalog. Music, it's a catalog, it nigga. Hot. What's your catalog, my nigga? That's all I'm saying. Like, they put out the videos flowing and shit. Catalog, they be hard, but they don't. Nigga. They don't have no catalog. Like, you don't have no videos it. out. You don't got no tracks out. You feel me? That nigga said, where's your catalog? For real. If somebody in a big industry or a label or somebody crazy was trying to look at you, they're going to look for what is your background story, your catalog, what do you have done? Uh, Versus that, they ain't going to just look at your Instagram video, you rapping, and be like, oh, yeah, that's hard. We're going to sign that motherfucker. Very rarely would that ever happen. Because they want to know, can you put out a track on your own and do what you got to do? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So ain't, LA is kind of harsh for that for girls. I don't, I don't know. What about like a bitch like Cock Pistol Cree or somebody like that? I don't even know who that is. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard the name, but I ain't never I've never heard that music before. I think I've heard you know, the name. Heard. No. <laughs> oh shit, what about the City Girls? No, they don't. They don't. They don't. I've heard they shit. My girl listen to that shit too, they don't. Okay. Like that Cuban dog girl? Yeah, she dope. She she dope. She got her beats is hard as a motherfucker. Yeah, I got her. It's up hard there. to it's hard not to vibe with her shit. Her beats is retarded. Yeah, Cuban doll up for real bitch of the year, man. I think she gonna um, cause you know we gonna do the year end episode, and I got a uh, Cuban doll is in there for real bitch of the year with Cardi B. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. Me? But I feel like. Cuban doll been kicking up a lot of dust. She been causing niggas to go to jail and fight and wars and shit. You feel me? Oh Lord. Plus good music. You feel me? What else? What else is it? <laughs> Cuban doll edition. She look good. She dangerous and shit. She yeah. just look like it's just dangerous. Like you feel me? Like. Mm-hmm. She signed with Gucci, right? I don't know. It's, I think a lot of niggas kind of like try to claim the bitch some type of way it's mm-hmm. weird it's a lot of energy around that bitch i know mm-hmm. some niggas probably got killed fucking with that bitch just looking at her like <laughs> certain bitches certain bitches i could look at and i could just say niggas have died fucking with this bitch yeah trying to have this bitch or deal with her or i can always tell man and it seemed like bitches the bitches the the have that energy about them like thrive in that shit too that shit is like evil mm-hmm. I said you go to church bro yeah you believe in the devil God and the devil definitely the devil's real yep what you think about people getting affected by demons and shit like that uh, kinda. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. You ain't never looked at some of the niggas around you, especially some of them that engage in t- certain types of of sins, like certain ones that they do all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now that you put it like that, hell yeah. Now that you put it like that, hell yeah, nigga. 
Who don't know some niggas that done did some bullshit? Like, <clears throat> these niggas, and they continue to do the bullshit. Like, nigga, you just gonna keep doing bullshit over and over again, and they don't learn from it. This is like, what they do. Like, I done seen niggas that, like, say niggas that was just murderers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? After a while, this nigga just looks like. He looks like the Grim Reaper. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even when he want to try to be cool and chill, it's still some like extra the, shit. He like the Green Ripper, Reaper is trying to chill. Yeah. Like and then here's the nigga that's this, uh, this nigga is the finesse everybody. Mm -hmm. So all he do is finesse, 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 finesse. So he did finesse for so many years of finessing. When you talk to him, you. You don't know if he finessing you. Like, so he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sound like, nigga, he's trying to play me, nigga. Everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, man. Um, I, that's a way out of observation. All right. Are you like a. Uh, you, you, you fuck with a lot of Mexicans. Yeah, I got a few um, few homies. How, like, have your relationship with them changed since um, Donald been in there? Or have you noticed some different type of energy since Donald? Been if anything, they're getting cooler and cooler. If you ask Better. me, they're getting cooler and cooler than me. Better I don't know what it is. Yeah. Okay. I feel you, man. I feel you. Some niggas feel like the other, the opposite shit is happening, but I, I don't know. What? But I don't know if that's, see, like, that, see, you on some homie shit. Now, this, what he talking about is like workplace type of shit. Oh, I wouldn't know about that because I'll be hustling. Then you just be out there <laughs> with, with, the, with the regular humanity. But when you locked in that, that, that competition of work, you mm -hmm. at the job and niggas could get fired and. Oh yeah, yeah. They a little off when it come to that shit. Oh so it might God. be a different type. That of ain't energy. gonna change. Them niggas gonna do what they want to do. They gonna and yeah. they quick to set a nigga up on my mama. They want them mm -hmm. hours. <laughs> they want them hours. They set a nigga up fast. Okay, you fuck with Busy Bone from the um, Bone Thugs. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, he trending right now. Yeah, I heard about something. Wasn't he? He. Uh, he um, he got on IG live it some crazy with shit. a with a shotgun, talking about the Migos and Twenty One Savage. Yeah, I remember that. And he was like, "Oh, somebody he better than the Migos or something." Yeah, cause uh, Offset, um, you know, Offset and 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 Lazy Bone start talking shit to each other about who got money and shit, who balling. What? And you know, Offset and them is, you know, they they. They quick to call a nigga old, old ass, broke nigga, broke ass <clears throat> nigga. I got a million dollars right now, nigga. Like, uh, let's count up a million right now, nigga. You know, that's how they, that's how they doing it. Mm -hmm. So I guess they've been going back and forth on IG Live, you know, Lazy Bone Show, his mansion and, and plaques and shit. And, I, and then I, I guess uh, Busy Bone just jumped into it, but he showed it. Uh, a shotgun. See, niggas is crazy though. See, see, you know what? Niggas is ignorant. My yeah. thing is, it shows that you, you've, you've had money too long because yeah, you forgot what it's like to be broke again. Like niggas is bragging about some shit, and it's like that's like the same shit I be saying about watching that. What is it called? Like, ah, uh, like that married to medicine and all that with them rich females and uh -huh. shit. Man, that shit. I'm not about to watch no rich motherfuckers argue. Well, you know, motherfuckers be like, um, <clears throat> you know, motherfuckers be like, uh, identifying with different motherfuckers and see themselves in the different individuals exactly. on TV like they some <clears throat> archetype. You ever heard of that word archetype? Mm -hmm. So they... Like I'm like that bitch. Like they portray themselves on somebody else. Like yeah. love and hip hop bitches. They pick a bitch. Like I'm mm -hmm. like her. Or I'm like yeah. her. Yeah. And I, so they pay attention to how they live and kind of mimic mm -hmm. and live through you know your little mundane life is like. Yeah. 
I know that sounds crazy. As but that's me. real shit though, and they really do that. Like that's for surely true. Yeah. But it takes it takes a special motherfucker, a strong motherfucker. They they know who they are individually. Like so, it's like I ain't about yeah. to live through the next nigga. Like I'm about to do me. Yeah. You feel me? But everybody ain't like that. Some people literally live behind that reality TV yeah. shit. Like they love that shit. Yeah. Oh, what does she have on this week? I'm gonna find that, and they go buy that shit. It's fascinating. I, I remember I was I was interviewing Mariah Lynn, boss. Mm-hmm. Mariah Lynn, and, you know, and I asked her like, you know, um, how, how do you, how do you how do you feel about motherfuckers doing you like that, like looking at you and just uh, project like they they see you as like a deity, like each yeah, one of y'all, yeah, and then yeah. they project they shit through y'all, and how do you? Well, I just try to be cool to the fans. She, she didn't even really understand what I was saying to her. Uh, I was like, yeah, that shit. Dick. I was like, you don't even understand what the fuck I'm saying. You, I just try to be cool to the fans <laughs> and do, you know, be nice and show them love. And we'll do. I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, yeah, man, I be tripping off of that shit. That man. shit is weird. They will mimic you like all the way to the T from what you wear to how you act. They love that yeah, shit. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Why you think when people get on like reality TV, they'll have a hundred thousand followers, they go straight up to a million first season. It's like, damn, nigga, like y'all tuned in fast. Y'all didn't give them time to figure out what they really about for you just tuned right the fuck in. Like well, man, they be on it. It's almost like um It's like some religion type of shit, man. You remember um back when you was in I don't know if you remember this, but I know niggas had to study the gods, the Greek gods, yeah, 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 yeah. And Poseidon, all the different. Yeah, guys. I think that's how reality TV shows. Each character is uh, these are the different gods, and you can you can worship them on Instagram. Yeah, they're shit. just they idol. Go, they're idol you know, gods. They, yeah, that's real what shit. Doing every day, and then they be on the show, and then they do some new shit on the show, and then you be like, I'm shit. I'm gonna be like that. I think Cardi took that shit to the highest level definitely she took that shit from love and hip hop and took that shit into the world and that's what made her different than everybody else on the show is she expanded with that shit well nobody show. else was worthy of of being monitored like that only only that bitch was worthy mm-hmm. of the yeah, but I mean? she had her own platform before she got on there too other bitches ain't even really worthy of being paid attention to like mm-hmm. that. Like. Have you noticed the people that they put on there, like like the the people that make it on the Love and Hip Hop, you'll be like, where the fuck did they come from? But when she got on there, I, I instantly remember them funny ass videos on Instagram of her in the car talking shit. Like I remember that well, what that let you know? That she had her own platform beforehand. It, it lets you know that real talent is real talent no mm-hmm. matter what. So the other people on there don't really have talent like that. Exactly. The really like don't have talent. Even, you know what I'm saying? They just good for that particular thing. Thing. Yep. Like, but see, Cardi was just really like. She bigger than that. Way bigger than that. You know, I man, really, I think that bitch could just have like a. Um, she could have like, what is that like? How a motherfucker sit down at a talk show? Oh yeah, and she yeah. She could yeah. just be on there and just yeah. Motherfuckers come on there and she that would be she like, could be like the hood over. That would be like <laughs> yeah, she could take over from that shit. The hood over. <laughs> she could that should be funny yeah, if she fun. wanted to. If she wanted to though. Yeah. Like, I it's, it's impressive, man. It's unbelievable. All right, that's why that the offset thing. She like. I, and see, then I was wondering if this shit was like reality TV type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Played out on a big screen like this was all fake. Yeah. You feel me? Because yeah, this yeah. would be brilliant if, if if this was like some theatrical fake shit. Mm-hmm. And then we just, because they follow the shit play by play. I'm, I'm, I'm. This bitch is more. I think this bitch more popping than Kim Kardashian. Hell yeah. You feel me? Like I know. <clears throat> Definitely. Amazing. All right. Um, what do you think about you? Fuck with Tory Lanez? Uh, <clears throat> honestly, no. Have yeah. I ever really listened to him? Nope. He been 
real. I know been, who he is, of he course. He's been bro. real amped up lately. A lot of the talking shit. You ever heard of Royce the Five Nine? Royce the Five Nine, nah. Man, you ain't heard of damn boy. Keep it one hundred. All right, <laughs> um, let's keep it pushing, pushing past that. All right, now, um, <clears throat> man, you be going to Laker games and shit like that? No, nah, I ain't been a Laker in a long time, bro. Do LeBron here being here make you want to go to a Laker game? Have you even thought um, about that? Possibly, because it's probably a little more turned up. But it's crazy. I used to work at the Stable Center, though. But you don't be feeling like no urge to go and nah, just because it's him. Hell no, nah. hell no, nah. nope. Mm-mm. Your girl don't be wanting to go to the game. Y'all. <laughs> you spoke up quick for her. Nah, all right, all right. That shit yeah, is, but it's crazy. I know I could see like the city is like on fire because you hear it. You, you can tell. Yeah, hell right? yeah. People really be walking around with the James jerseys on already and all that. I'm like, damn, he just got here. Like y'all ready? Okay, so that type of shit don't move you. <clears throat> Staple Center and shit like that going to the... Mm-mm. I used to work there. We used to escort some of them motherfuckers around. Nigga, we used to park in the same parking lot as the cheerleaders for the Lakers. Like, I remember that shit. I'm bounce out the whip. You see the cheerleader girls get right out with their little Lakers pom-poms and walk right to their little shit like it's regular. Like, you feel me? And what about like... Uh, but, okay, so... I feel you. Um... You've been doing podcasts and been doing interviews and shit. Yeah. Uh, what was the most popping one you've been on? You think who had a nice popping? She the last the one I did yesterday. I've seen a lot of like just immediate followers come in after that shit. I was like, what the fuck? Like where all they, these people come from? Straight fans. And yeah, shit. like I'm like, what the fuck? Where these people come from? They came from that. That shit happened happened fast. I feel you. I feel you. That's pretty cool. And that was just yesterday. All right. So, what you got going right now as far as, like, uh, your uh, new project? and uh, yeah. um, I've been still promoting a lot of my older shit uh, because that shit's still been catching fire. Like, it's getting going faster and okay. faster that and faster. That shit be going on It's still gaining iTunes, traction silence. everywhere. So, all you do is search Fat Meats, but it's, it comes up everywhere. You can literally Google that shit. I'm on Spotify, Apple, whatever. You right, me? right, right. Um, Brothers is my top played track. Um, I've done, like, on SoundCloud alone, it's done over 400,000 on SoundCloud. Oh, okay, my nigga. Then on uh, YouTube, it's done, like, 80,000. Then iTunes, 50,000. Okay. Spotify twenty thousand. You feel me? So it's done like over half a million for show. Sure, like a okay, lot. Okay. So what? I mean, is that like you, niggas niggas hitting you up for features and shit? Yeah, random motherfuckers. It be like then it's like you go to their page. You be like these motherfuckers like they barely start doing music themselves, but they just want it. They want you on their track so bad. And you be taking them. You be done taking all of them. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. Um. So when you do features, do you have them send you send you shit, or do you go to their studio? Or they you? send beats, and I just say, I just get on them. I got my own studio. I don't even go to a lot of random nigga studios. I'm not a fan of that shit. I feel you, my nigga. Niggas get you. popped at studios. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm cool. Like a studio is equivalent to damn near a party. You might get popped. You might have fun at that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm you cool. Might. I feel you, my nigga. That's like, you think about it. How many niggas you done heard the stories that even famous people, not famous homies, niggas get popped at studios. I'm cool. And then the distraction. Like, I, I don't like to go to studios when it's 100 niggas in there that ain't doing shit. I get it. That's not my thing. Like, I, I like you. the chill vibe and I just write just and shit. Just work and get pushed. Yeah. Pin game is everything. Like, you got, I got to be chill with the pin game. Right, niggas right. be all in your face and shit. Nah. <coughs> oh, shit, man. Um, let me see. Okay, let's um, let me knock out a couple of reader listener emails. You down to go through it? Yeah. All right, reader listener emails, reader listener motherfucking emails, my nigga. We got some shit for y'all niggas, man. You not ready for this? I got my guy in here with me, Fat Meat. All right. Um, let me flow and glow for niggas a little bit. Pull up. All right. All right. 
Are you ready for this? Are you ready? A nigga from Houston, Texas writes to Ball Smack. He says, Ball Smack, I was, sent vi I was visiting some relatives in Memphis a few months back and I met a bad bitch on a plane from LA. A lawyer bitch. I ended up fucking with I ended up fucking on the second night in Memphis. She was dope. We've been communicating on the phone and on the gram. But look, this Thanksgiving, I told her I was visiting L.A. And she was with it all the way up until my plane landed at LAX. Then the bitch told me she had an emergency and could not see me. Then she blocked me on the gram and blocked my number. Ball smack. What the fuck? Did I miss? We was cool. I. <clears throat> yeah, man. Um, I don't know, man. Um, a lot of times, man, um, you need to just take what you, when you have an experience, you need to just accept it. And just let that be what it is Instead of trying to stretch some shit out Man you don't know what the fuck going on You know um, You had a good one night With a bitch And uh, you should Took that I'm trying to go further I don't know man Maybe you shouldn't have came out here But in, anyway Once you're in LA you should enjoy yourself and taking in the LA environment, man, and go meet some other new bitches, bro. Cause it's you in the land of a whole lot of bitches, bro. So mm -hmm. don't be sad. Don't don't you not shouldn't kick a rock. But I get it though. You know you have your hopes up. You reminiscing on the pussy. You like damn, I'm gonna be fucking probably playing it back in your mind and shit. And then you know, man, you never know, man. Bitches be out here doing like bitches be cheating on their husbands and shit. Definitely, I'm about to say she bitches, got another nigga. Bitches be cheating on their husbands <laughs> and baby daddies and live with niggas and you never know, man. I done been disappointed a few times, man. I done, but I, it wasn't like I, I came intentionally for a bitch. It was just like I was in a city and was like, oh, this bitch live in a city. And then you call and then a nigga answer the phone or some shit. <laughs> Damn, man. Hey, man, don't don't let it get you down, man. Reminisce on the fun that you had with a bitch, man. Cherish the time. Fun. Cherish the good memory. Fat, fat meat, you. Hey, she blocked the nigga on the Instagram. Hey man, you know when it go, you know when it go dark, man. When it's emergency, bitch. I've seen that protocol unfold. It's all up, it's all the way across the board. It's like the phone and then the ground. Oh know? yeah, either she all the way not fucking with you. <laughs> Or she got a whole nigga. I'm not even going to say that. Cause it could be a whole nigga, though. It's a nigga, bro. Because you can't be that weird to entertain the idea of me coming all the way till I'm here. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, my nigga going to be in town. Fuck. That's what happened. It, but had it, to might, be. Get, it might got out of control like the nigga was expecting some shit. Because, you know, maybe. You know how sometimes, you know, niggas be doing their own things on shit. And the bitch, you know, nigga be out. You know what I'm saying? And the bitch be. Yeah. Bitch be like, shit, that nigga out so I could come through and sit on your face in your hotel room, nigga. <laughs> but it fell through. <laughs> but it fell through. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. They be having their hopes up and shit. <laughs> okay, can't really, you had to block Dang. him on, you had to block him on the gram. Hey, man, when it go dark, man, that's what bitches do. <laughs> hey, hey, ain't that the female protocol? I'll block you all the way across the board. Oh, any every any fucking girl, thing. Any of your homegirls say that? I, when I'm trying to get away from a nigga, I just... I hang out with. It used to be one person. I, now I don't even hang out with her. She like, listen, nigga, do not. I do not associate with those bitches. Right. Hurrah! They're crazy out here, so I don't need it. Oh, man. 
<laughs> okay, let me do this other email. Read a listener email. A nigga from Los Angeles writes to Ball Smack. He says, Ball Smack, I got a bad bitch on the team. We both, we both go to college. She is a smart bitch, but she is heavy into powder, and I feel like I cannot pull her out of that shit. On the flip side, I think I am addicted to the way she fucks on powder. How do you get unaddicted to this shit? Fucking bitches on powder. That <laughs> this shit just got deep. <laughs> okay. See, man, you know what, man? On the real, man, I think I think sexual perversion in our society is at an all time. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like the amount of niggas having orgies and the menages and the um, bitches and bitches and the. Um, all I can say man is that you know you can get turned out by a bitch bro like a bitch can really take you to hell like a motherfucker like you get a bitch can that's a to have a, a bad bitch to fuck bomb on cocaine and y'all indulging and shit man that's just like man that's so you have to have extreme discipline you have to be like you really need god bro like you have to pray like god help me from this bitch like, save me from this bitch it's trying to kill me i you know what man niggas don't realize like That's why I'm heavy into. I may sound, I may sound, I'm gonna sound crazy in here, but that's why I'm, I'm, I am into dick rationing, man. I can't, you can't just fuck like that, bro. You can't just be fucking all the bit. You can't. But once you've been caught up by a bitch like that and you've been to the mountaintop, man, the only way is just it with discipline of self, man. I don't know how to communicate discipline to you, man. I don't know how to. You have to be cool with not fucking like that. And, and I don't know if that's possible, man. You niggas, I be looking at different niggas into the depths of different niggas' hearts, man. And, and niggas have very little resistance to bitches like that man if i think that's the most i think the devil is a bitch out here i think matter of fact what, what do you think about ariana grande she's dope she's a dope bitch right? yeah to me she i think she could be satan bro <gasps> let's look at it i think she could be <clears throat> that went let's, left fast let's look at that <laughs> I'm going to bring this up with some other shit too, but okay. You remember, you know how many niggas have lost their mind behind her? Like she got to be a lot. Many niggas have lost their mind behind that bitch. Mm -hmm. One nigga just almost was about to commit suicide. The Saturday Night Live nigga was about to commit suicide. What? Pete Davidson nigga. I seriously think Mac Miller I, I think his shit was like something to do with her. Like, what? Like, I feel like the Mac Miller was like uh, like his depression was uh -huh. due to losing the bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you know she went through what's his name? The was she with Big Sean? Big Sean went through him. Mm. She he she. She finished him and another nigga before that. Yeah. 
Then they blew up some shit at her concert. That concert in um, England. You know, she had a concert in England with a where a terrorist attack happened at the concert. What? You know that, right? Mm-hmm. I don't follow her like that. What? They I mean, that was like some big, some big ordeal shit. Yeah, yeah. like. Oh no, that's just my theory. No disrespect to Ariana Grande. I just was like, wow, she's a bad bitch. So I always say like a bad bitch with bomb pussy would take you to hell, bro. That's if she's evil. Yep. You going with her, bro. You going with her. Niggas a kill, steal, do all types of shit. I don't know, man. God bless. Be strong in your fight. Against the bitch that fucks bomb on powder. <laughs> it's like a big old circle, huh? Like, right. You know, like it you came. said. Boom. And it came back. That's how we do. <laughs> That's how we do. All right. Our final reader, listener email. Are you ready for this? You guys got to be ready for this one. No one is ready for this email. Spit this. A nigga from Los Angeles writes to Ball Smack. He said, Ball Smack, one of my side bitches got stolen from me by a fat Jamaican gangster motherfucker. When it happened, I was amazed. Listen, no. Shit got weird when her homegirl came up in my DMs and told me she thinks the nigga did some type of magic spell on my bitch. She said my bitch thinks the nigga is gross. She says he rocks designer but smells like shit. She says... (laughs) She don't know why she fucks with the nigga, but when he calls, she does what he says. Now, ball smack. I feel bad, but I don't know how to intervene safely. Have you ever heard of shit like this? How do you help people? (laughs) Hey, man, that's not your bitch anymore. (laughs) First of all, you you smell like shit. (laughs) If... You don't know what's going on. Fuck it, bro. It's, let your bitch go, bro. Don't get involved. Don't do nothing. Tell a bitch to pray. Go to church. Pray to God. Don't get involved with it. It ain't your bitch no more. She's not your bitch. She's not your bitch. There's a lot of shit out here. It's magic. You see botanicas and shit around here. Motherfuckers is practicing magic. Shit is going on. I know you may love her. Um, You can't save everybody. I know I sound cowardly saying this shit. Like saying, hey, that's not your bitch. But if she's not your bitch. Especially if she didn't contact you and say, hey, you know, help me. You know what I'm saying? I'm confused and I need. I don't know, bro. Like. Whenever one of my bitches in the past have just said, listen, fuck you, nigga, I just let it happen. I just was like, okay. Now, did another nigga put a magic spell on a bitch or whatever? I don't know. I, I've wondered. I saw the bitch go and fuck with some weirdo type of nigga, but I just was like, okay, maybe she liked the weirdo. Th- maybe that <laughs> nigga go, you know, maybe that nigga paying rent, buying cars and shit. Well, how do I know? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Fat Meach. Hey. God bless you, bro. I appreciate you coming out and being a part of this situation, man. You know. Mm-hmm. Did you, do you have anything to add to what I just was talking about? Um, <clears throat> fat niggas do it better. Oh, I. you know what? And I didn't mean that. Like, you, you, <laughs> you heard her talk bad about his hygiene. <laughs> I know, I know, big guys, the rock designer that smell great. They, exactly, you know, know they exist. So I know Definitely. a few of those. So I'm not saying that all big guys that rock designers smell like shit. But 
<laughs> Maybe something like the shit might have had something to do with his magic. That might have been part of the magic. Because <laughs> you got demons. That so demons. I just smell like shit because I got demons with me. But even though I'm, my magic is so powerful, the bitch sucked my dick while I smell like shit. Clearly he must be. Clearly he must listen, be. Do hey. not sleep. There's motherfuckers out there. There's, there's a lot of niggas who like to do shit like that to bitches. When them bitches go to Dubai and all that and be doing shit out there, they be like, hey, bitch, suck my dick. I know I smell like shit and everything else, bitch, but that's part of your humiliation, bitch. That's why I paid you five racks to be here, bitch, to, so I can humiliate. It's some darkness in this world. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And you imagine, like, who, who, who would like that? Who likes that? And see, you know what? And I say shit out loud like that. And you be like, man, why would a motherfucker say some shit out loud like that? I like to say shit out loud like that so motherfuckers know that that shit is real. Yeah, because you say what people thinking. And you walking around motherfuckers who are on that page. Yeah, you saying what's going on. And realize that this motherfucker in the supermarket in front of you just was on some bullshit before he came up in here. Mm -hmm. You feel me? There's evil people out here and fuck them. You mm-hmm. feel me? That's my position. You evil ass motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. God bless you if you good though. Shouts out. Alright, um, any last any remark, anything people yeah. let people know some shit. Make sure y'all tap in, man. The real fat meets on Instagram. Fat Meach is F A T space M E E C H. You can find me anywhere. You can Google that shit. I'm on Instagram, whatever you want to do. My hit single, tap in with brothers. Y'all gonna love that shit. I'm gonna drop some new shit on uh, top of the year. It's gonna be crazy. New single, new video, everything. Hey, man. You should let a real nigga like me uh, direct a video around this motherfucker because I think, I think my vision... Mm-hmm. My vision will be so profound, but... You know, wife, wifey will have to let me do my thing. Depends on what you're trying to do. You already know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. You know. There's no success unless we big papa. We gotta, we gotta pursue the path of big papa out here. Bro. You know what they want to see. This is true. I, I mean, I don't mind that for a video. You, you, you cool? Oh, yeah. Because, you know, man, you know, Big Papa, people don't tap into Big Papa, man. A lot of motherfuckers on in the warning how he was eating cereal and he was just, the cereal was splashing all down, but, you know, he got on designer and mm-hmm. he in the match. You know what I'm saying? Or how he got up out the big, get, get off me. Y'all get the fuck off me. <laughs> shit. The fuck? <laughs> you know, you like, yeah, <laughs> push the bitch one of the bitches in the head or some shit. I just <laughs> knocked out the shit. But anyway, you know, I'll be on that bullshit. Ain't nobody made me happy. Ain't nobody, and I and I might be giving up some trade secret, man. Ain't nobody made me happy like uh, ASAP Rocky for one of his first videos with the, with the two. Um, Latinas was kissing in the shower, man. I was like, I like this nigga. When I saw that, that made me like ASAP Rock. He was in the bathtub, and then they was in the shower kissing. Uh I was like, look at that shit. That shit hard. All right. All right. Thank you, Fat Meeks. I'm on talking crazy. Put your hands together for a special musical guest. I ain't going to even say no names.
I see you pussy nigga, I'ma air you out If I see you in the crowd, I'ma stare you down So I stay with that birthday like I'm married now I thought you was my brother But you stabbed me in the back So I loaded my pistol And I had to double back We used to sleep on the floor in my mama's house Now when I see you pussy nigga, I'ma air you out If I see you in the crowd, I'ma stare you down So I stay with that birthday like I'm married now Stay with that birthday like I'm married now.